Second floor is your pelvic floor. This one. That's a big problem. It's only three muscles, mainly those muscles what you go to the bathroom with. So those are holding our organs in place, so they have to be really picked up. Ladies probably familiar with Kegel exercises, but I'm sure gentlemen also one way or other been introduced. It's a big problem, prostate issues and, and delivering babies and stuff, so don't take that lightly. So that's the second floor. The third floor is your diaphragm. Right? You know where your diaphragm is. Just touch it, please. Right here. And if you feel your ribs are sticking out, then it's time to exhale and bring it together. And the breathing should happen back between the shoulder blade, here. So what happened, I'm standing on the first floor, my arches pushing me upright, right? My pelvic floor goes up with it, inside, so squeeze it. If nothing else, just imagine you have to go to the bathroom, but no bathroom around, hold it. <laughs> That's the muscle. And then the third floor, the diaphragm, goes down to your pelvic floor because you exhaled. And that will tighten your tummy muscles. Make sense? Yeah. So, and the fourth floor, which is the top of the head, goes up. And the back of the neck has to be longer than the four front of your neck. See, when you sit at the computer, you do this, right? Or driving people normally do that. But you really want to keep it, the chin is lower than the base of the head. Yeah? Touch, touch your, put your thumb back here to the base of the head. Good. And try to just pull yourself out of the ground with it. So open your arm, elbow out, good, and pull yourself out. So the back of the neck should be pulled out. At the same time, my third floor goes down, second floor comes up, tighten up, that's your abdominal, that's your support for your organs. You guys look so good. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, isn't this great? Yeah. Uh, maybe the our um, lady can take a picture from here. It really looks good. Okay, so so uh, so you're pulling yourself up. Imagine you have a book on top of your head, and now drop your arm. So the first floor lifts you up, the second floor pulls up, the third floor goes down, tighten up, you breathe between the shoulder blade, widening in the back here, and your neck is long, imagine you're hanging on a little string. So instead of letting your body weight down, you want to pull yourself out of the ground, and that's why it's so important your, your foot arch would be, because if it doesn't pull you up, then everything has to compromise. Now, do it wrong. Go. Drop it. And I want you to catch yourself. What do you feel when you do it wrong? Can you feel the tension? Do you ever think about this? No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because she already had an injury, but you know, most people don't think about that. We're going backwards. Unless you get hurt, you don't, not interested of your body other than the makeup and the clothes. And you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning, oh my gosh, what am I, you know, kinds of thing, instead of, yeah, where is my posture? Is my shoulder leveled or not? Am I breathing to the right place? So the idea is with these three points basically is to put yourself to the right foundation so everything can find their home. And your organizers gave this home and the way 
this course or workshop here now named Home and Away. I thought that was great. I didn't give that name. <laughs> but see, your body has to be at home. If they're constantly out of the house, which most of the time does, then they're going to have very hard time to rest, and they're going to be overwhelmed. So take them home, big toe, little toe, heel. And now just let's experiment. Just lean forward and feel what happens. Where are you? Tighten up. And this is the other exercise I highly recommend you. I think on the thing it's called space clock or something like that. So because you're experimenting space, you, you uh, training your nervous system through the feet. The, the nerves are recording what you're doing. They are recording it. And they're going to leave marks. So when you're losing your balance during the day, your brain will know exactly what, how to behave so you don't fall down because they've been there before. They're familiar. Now take it to the left and just feel. What does it mean when I'm on the left leg? What do you feel? It's tension, right. It's okay. It's nothing right or wrong. It's just maybe not healthful to be all day long on that one leg, right? So take it to the right and feel what that creates in the rest of the body. So uh, the whole idea is to get connected, to feel and, and, and understand and go around and just feel what does it do with your rest of the body. Now this little exercise in the morning while the coffee comes down or brushing your tooth even, you don't have to do this because the electric thing is just in the So it doesn't interfere with you, you don't have to coordinate, reverse it. Isn't this wonderful? And now I have a, a friend of mine bought me this toothbrush which at the same time do it upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> it's called the three minutes something. So I'm just putting it, it's great. <laughs> you know? So it's amazing what they come up with. So okay, so this was one of the great things. Now see how do you feel? Say wonderful. <laughs> now, everybody have a little uh, notebook or something with you? I would recommend you that, but up in the stage, these lovely people, I give them this little reach up and put the fingertips under this. Both. So you put on your fingertips a book just like this. Now, your neck should be long and pull the shoulder blade down and remember where the body weight is. Now, lift your heel up and push it up as far as you can and go down with it. Now, it was proven by neurologists when we are up here all our posture muscles must work. They cannot not working. Now, if I'm up here and I make little steps, keep going. Is anybody who don't have a thing? Good. So if you make little steps, just straight leg and just walking, 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 this wakes up your posture muscles. Again, going backwards, forwards, don't hold it like this. Okay, here. Here. Yeah, you really want to keep it on your fingertips. So just walk a little bit. Maybe you can leave your chair. Now remember, now if you do it for a while, maybe you started out, pelvis was lost, right? But if you do it for a while, you're noticing it, your tummy muscles start to firming up. Am I right or wrong? Right. Okay. Now, take it down, please. And have a seat for a moment. 
Okay, you might want to sit down. Now, when you sit the same, uh, maybe you can bring a chair up here so you can. Um, when you sit, uh, yes. I just have a question. My toes are tingling like they were asleep and waking up now. That's good. Is that good? Yeah, be happy. <laughs> They're talking to you. They said yes. <laughs> no, because see, the toes are not too flexible with most of us. So what happens when you start to using them, they don't like it. They say no. But your brain, your subconscious doesn't know you harming it or helping it. So it gives you a signal. But your conscious mind knows this is good for me. So then you encouraging, you, you regaining the trust of your subconscious mind. That's how you're be developing new habits. You're replacing your old habits, the counterproductive habits, with more accurate ones. You know, that's the, the way you're moving today is because you're doing something over and over and over again. So if you start to do things in a different way, you're going to have new, new patterns built. Now, the idea is the same tripod. Keep your feet flat on the floor, preferably parallel, and the tushi should be higher than the knee. And with John today, I tried this already. He was telling me, he has some really, really bad stiff lower back. And men normally have a little bit worse situation than ladies. We women, we're a little bit more, we, we have maybe a little bit too much elasticity at some point. But men have really tighter back. So what we did with John, I gave him a towel just under the edge of the butt. And what happened? Talk to my microphone. <laughs> Do you, did you hear it? Yeah. You better take your shirt off. That's next. That's next. Okay, so so what what he said loud here. It took the pressure and pain off immediately in my what I call the sciatic area. Okay, so I roll the towel and I put it right at the back of the chair instead of feeling up the lumbar arch I created them and if you have a t-shirt or something roll it up and just put it right under here now what it does if you don't have that would you stand up? if you don't have that little roll the whole back just goes down, right? Now, if, if we put that little roller under, what it creates, it's kind of tipping your pelvis. So you're recreating your lumbar arch. The lower back was made for that arch. It doesn't mean you have to always sit like a stick of wood. It makes it a lot easier to sit up straight as well? Yes. Yeah. Because that, see, if your sacrum bone, this little guy here, vertical, that is the ground for the spine. Then everything stacked beautifully as it's supposed to be. Now, if this guy is tilted, see, everything has to make some changes. Try it out. Drop your body down. And that's the whole trick. Now, it doesn't mean you have to all the time be upright like this. But if you are leaning back from, uh, may I turn you over? Just stand up, please, for a second. So everybody can see it. So this is where we had, let's see, just that that little lift. At the bath, Bed Bath & Beyond, they are selling those wedges. You know the wedge? Probably you saw it. That's also good, but I like the old 